back to <laughs> team well yeah sorry that again brian it's good welcome back to team plus plays new orcs on the block uh for today's icebreaker question if you got to choose what song your high school graduating class walked to uh instead of pomp and circumstance at graduation what would you choose and why for better or worse, maybe it's a uh, it's it's a thing you would have loved to walk to. Maybe it's a prank. Maybe it's something that would have made it get over sooner. Uh, I was thinking "Party in the USA" by Miley Cyrus. That feels like the type <laughs> of thing we would have playing over uh, our graduation. So uh, maybe in a slightly ironic sense, but I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny because I unironically like that song. It's a it's a great guitar riff. I don't care it's what really anybody catchy. says. Yeah, super good. Uh, I I'll, I'll go because uh, I think we we'll have a slight order here, right? So, my song <laughs> uh, would probably be a song that came out that year, and it was uh, it was just on the radio all the time. And I'm I'm for people that don't know, I'm live in Kentucky, so the song "Chicken Fried" by the Zach Brown Band is like a little bit of chicken fried. And I don't even really like country music or the Zac Brown band that much or even that song. But every time I hear that song, I think of that year mm -hmm. instantly. It's like that immediate association. So probably that one. Just to be clear, the name of the song is Chicken Fried, not Fried Chicken. Nope. It's because the song goes a little bit of chicken fried. And then so that's it. That's the way it's not fried chicken, but I right. I mean, chicken because fried. It could be anything chicken, chicken fried. Yeah, chicken fried is the adjective yeah, that applies right. to fried, a thing. You know, steak. Because you steak, can have chicken, chicken fried, fried chicken. Celery. Yeah. It, I don't know. Chicken fried yeah. sweet chicken, potato. You can chicken Might fry anything. It's, a, it's yeah. like tempura. What, is, yeah. what does that mean? What does it mean to <laughs> chicken fry something? That blows my mind. Uh, yeah, I didn't know this either. <laughs> you didn't know about chicken frying? Need, I mean, need to head to I guess it's like South. <laughs> you take, there's a bunch of different ways that people chicken fry in the South. It depends on kind of what you do. Like some people really like doing cornstarch, but this, the key is, is that you chicken fry everything with the same mixture that you would always yeah. do. So you can have chicken fried steak, chicken fried chicken, chicken fried Pretty much anything. Pretty much anything you can think of. <laughs> Somebody's been like, I'll give it a shot. Like, that's how it works down here. So That makes sense. Am I, cor am I correct? It's usually double battered. Is that yeah. one of the key? Yeah, 100%. It's, okay. very, it's very important that you get to usually go, you go in the egg, dredge, and then back in the egg, and then dredge again. And some people like to do flour, egg, dredge, but I don't really think the flour makes a difference. And some people don't use egg. Some people use – there's, like, another thing you can – oh, some people use mayonnaise, which I've never – Yeah. I don't – yeah, I, I, I've never really gotten uh, – no, yeah, like, for the moisture to get it to stick. Mayonnaise is also a good substitute for butter when you're doing mm -hmm. uh, garlic cheese bread. Oh. I don't put butter on garlic bread. Put olive oil on garlic bread. I have been surprised okay. by the things mayonnaise can do, so I will probably try that at some point. Yeah, give well, it a I mean, try. mayonnaise yeah. is egg. I'll give you that. <clears throat> yeah. That's true. That is true. It's a weird substance. Okay, so for the music for high school marching, uh, pomp and circ instead of parking, blah, 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 instead of pomp and circumstance, um, All Stars, I thought, uh, by uh, Smash Mouth, I think. That was That's what. Great. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. Uh, my marching band really just adopted that because we thought we were all badasses for like winning competitions, and we were very A types in our year, um, even as we graduated. So yeah, we had a lot of swagger. So we would have probably would have loved to walk to that. Although most of the band didn't walk, we were playing pomp and circumstance. So you know, maybe we would have played it for everyone else and huh. then went out and walked to that. <laughs> That's good. Mm -hmm. yeah, we, don't, we don't really have like a high school graduation in the UK, or at least I didn't. Um, mm -hmm. So I guess um, if I was going to hijack mine and play a kind of prank song, mine would probably be Wasted Years by Iron Maiden, because uh, I feel like that was pretty pretty fitting for my, uh, for my school years anyway. Um, and 
just to circle back to this whole chicken fried thing, because that's honestly just blow my mind. <laughs> We're not getting uh, over this. <laughs> so uh, it it reminded me of um, something I came across uh, not too long ago, which was the most calorific um, meal that you can order in the UK. Uh, there's a Scottish fish and chip shop basically uh that does a deep fried donna kebab do you know what i'm talking about if i say that no mm-hmm. oh i don't it's Sorry. it's like a, so a donna kebab is like uh turkish strips of strips of meat in like a pit of bread with salad and okay. all that sort of stuff okay. so they're generally pretty calorific anyway so if you imagine making one of those and then deep frying that. putting it in batter and then deep frying it so apparently it's seven and a half thousand calories <laughs> Just for one. Is it like you? Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, and that's what that reminded me of. Okay, that's the question for next time. So, is what's the most calorific thing you have ever heard of? That I that's, that or what would you that. like to? That and everybody's got homework. Try something new. Chicken fried. Ah uh, no. Before. Uh, I'm not. Okay. You don't have to tell me twice. Like I'm <laughs> sure. <laughs> so I wouldn't necessarily change what we walked down to because uh, we never played Pomp and Circumstance. Guys, because I was in the symphonic band, so I was at oh. four years of graduations, and we never mm-hmm. once played some Pomp and Circumstance. We alternated between the Jurassic Park theme <gasps> and Jupiter from Hulse the Planets, oh. uh, which my year was the planets. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then other years, it was uh, it mm-hmm. was Jurassic Park soundtrack. And whichever one you had, people wish they had had the, the other, other one <laughs> back and forth. Um, but I guess if if I had to pick a, a popular song, I, I thought somebody else might go with a classical piece somewhere. But uh, no. if I had to pick a popular song, um, <laughs> there's a group called Jive Ass Sleepers. They they did a track called Be Bold, Be Funky that is literally the prototypical uh, swagger walk soundtrack that plays in the spy movie or whatever where the camera pauses and it puts the character's names next to it in big swooshy letters oh, like if you imagine a song like that that's do, kind do of do i need to goes, find this so. youtube be bold be bold be funky i oh, would no. recommend it but i yeah. how did i come up with Mega Man on youtube i need be bold <laughs> i don't know but now two sessions from now it's going to be who is your favorite Mega Man villain and why so see today well today is well th- this is going to air later but today is the Mega Man relay which is why we can only play so late today okay be bold be funky i'm gonna put on okay oh you're right yeah this is totally it okay now it's on the recording so there you go <laughs> <laughs> Just it's five second bits, so we don't get in trouble. <laughs> five second bits, so we don't get in trouble. Yep, yeah. 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 Fair use. <laughs> no takedowns. No takedowns. Okay. Well, instead of takedown, how about a put up? Because it is time to put up your beloved Pralt Vezic for election to the Maravon Town Council. Mm-hmm. That's very good. So, thank you. I'm working on these transitions. <laughs> So I'm going to click the the show players button on the town council elections just to remind you what all is at stake here. You have uh, you have maintained one town council seat uh, by keeping Oaster the Jolly uh, on the town council. He is there to kind of be the established voice for promoting Axide and its residents. Um, you have chosen Pralt Vesic as your next person to position to try to help get uh, uh, to try to get elected to the town council. Um, and so that, that time has come. It's time for his election cycle. Mm-hmm. So the question is, uh, let's see, what do we do for this? Uh, the, so we've chosen a candidate who to campaign for. Oh, yeah, we need everybody to please roll your mm-hmm. choice of diplomacy or society so we can figure out what order to place you in. So let me get an encounter started here. It'll be just the four of you, no enemies, thankfully. Although I suppose having a contested election encounter would not be the worst idea in the world. We don't need to add is this, more to uh, the book now. <laughs> private? Or is this a blind GM role? Uh, no, this is initiative. I, I think initiative is usually ah, public. Okay. I need to add okay, you so, to the encounter, Oh, right, right. Initiative. Though. Yeah, let me get you. Um, I should have had this set up while we were... No, it's okay. Uh, this is part of the experience. Oh, oh, okay. Initiative adds you. Got it. Got it. 
Looks like initiative adds you all right. So. Gotcha. Okay. Here we go. Not a great roll for Bomba. Come back, Danya. Where'd you go? And you said we could use society or diplomacy? Society or diplomacy. It doesn't really have an effect on what you do. It's just those are the things that seem relevant. Yep. <clears throat> Come on, I said roll. roll. Or if you've, or if you've you got roll? a relevant lore, we're always happy for people to use their lores. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right, it looks like uh, Tony and Dem get to choose who goes first. Is I this... was planning on canvassing. But, canvassing? Um... That seems reasonable to go first, then, if you want to okay. do that. Okay. Um, I would like to canvas using my... Um... Uh, consult the spirits skill feat as I, I hear from the, the the natural spirits this time um uh i don't know but yeah i'll, I'll just I, I did something similar like this before mm -hmm. but um yeah now i'm actually just listening to the yeah very right, cool so we'll start with dim as a canvas uh tony what would you like to do after them canvases so this is for the election cycle yeah this is for mm -hmm. the election cycle so as a reminder you've got i think five campaign activities you can mm -hmm. choose from there's canvassing that requires perception or society negotiating an endorsement uh, which requires any lore relevant to an organization or that you could use to earn income uh, okay. you can host a rally that's diplomacy or performance you can try to recruit volunteers, that's diplomacy or society, or you can stump. Uh, you can host a, a town hall or a debate, basically, and that's diplomacy or society. Hmm. So I did do a debate the last election cycle, so I think I'm going to do some recruiting today. Okay. So Is this a blind? Uh, we're not rolling yet. We're going to pick everybody's yeah. activities, and then we're going to, uh, then we're going to make our rolls. Gotcha. Understood. Cool. Uh, Helen, what does Danya do for so, Mr. Vezik? Let's uh, let's negotiate some in uh in. I don't know. I was gonna go negotiate. Let's negotiate some endorsements. Do I have enough lore that's right? No, it's not gonna work. Like I feel like it's the right thing to do. I just don't have the right skill for it. <laughs> Well, what's what's a skill you'd like to argue for? We could always adjust the DC a little bit. Well, just that <clears throat> his uh, previous he, how he's been standing up for stuff and came down. Yeah, no, I don't want to do that. Change oh that. yeah, actually, I had a note about that. Um, yeah, does he get a bonus for running down when there was stuff going on last time? Yeah. So, what's that? Orcs there. I had. I'm oh, going to negotiate go to endorsements from the naturey people because I am a tree person. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm not the druid, but still, I am tree person. You you can go try to find the druids. And, I will use uh, nature for that. Negotiate endorsement from them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Y'all came up with a great slogan last time. Yeah. I'm he fights owl bears and fires. You want him fighting for you. And I promise you a <laughs> bonus <laughs> election point. Yes, this that was good. Cool. So, like, what was it? So was you something. start out with. Yeah. So that goes wearing from, that on a t shirt. Yes, you're all wearing <laughs> that on t shirt. So that goes from four to five election points we'll start mm -hmm. with. Start with five VP. All right, who are we left with? Uh me, Bomba. Well I think Bomba, I'm gonna, yeah. Yeah. I think I'm gonna stump. I think I'm gonna try and get some volunteers to, to help promote. Um because if I critically succeed on that then that might help helen out as well with oh. negotiating endorsements right um, um if helen if helen order. wants to delay after you yeah yeah sure yeah, you, yeah, you yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll delay yeah. helen's gonna delay all right yeah all right i put those oops i've accidentally messaged this dim <laughs> oh well <laughs> Uh, so that's the that's the activities we'll go with. All right, Dan, why don't you start us with your canvassing? Tell us what you're what what are you focusing on in this canvassing? Okay. So right now, you know, one of the local things that have been happening is there's been problems with 
Well, of course, that fire in the uh, that was burning down the uh, the factory or wind mill, uh, lumber mill, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, you know, I want to commune with the n- local nature spirits to think about. All right, you know, um, is is there any place in particular that uh, you would need want to so, like? Uh, keep safe like a sanctuary as it will if there's any locations where you know the the uh the logging has been uh non-renewaling i guess or other stuff but yes okay. i think i need to make a nature i might need to make a nature check first based on this skill feed but yeah uh, you know, so like, let's uh, yeah so let's say you are consulting the spirits as part of your canvas because this it looks like this takes 10 minutes so you know, yeah. canvassing is going to take weeks. So, yeah, go ahead and make a nature check. Let's see what insights you can gain. All right. Wow, that's a bad roll. Um, yeah, it's you actually realize that it's the reason you're having trouble is because so many of the nature spirits are sort of scattering. Mm. And you kind of catch this rumor that something's going on in the forest that is displacing them. Sounds None of them cool. really wants to talk about it. They seem to be a little bit on edge. Mm. Mm. Uh, Danya, I hear something, mm. some news about the spirits dispersing because oh. of something in the forest. That might be a good thing to, to, to look out for. Oh, let me consult. Or, yeah... I'm... Just for later. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's all right. But does I assume that's a failure? But yeah. It's a failure, it's a fail forward, let's put it that way. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> you muted um turned off your video. Yeah. Okay. All right. It, uh, uh, does uh does that go into me next with the uh, uh, recruiting? Well, yeah, I think so. <laughs> so uh, we do need from Dem the actual canvas check, though. Oh, so that's oh okay. Either, mm-hmm. either perception or society. Okay. Um. Well, perception, nice. Uh. Oh, that's better. That's good. Yeah. All right. That is a success. So you gain one election point. So you you sort of take this news that something weird is going on in the forest, and it actually kind of galvanizes some of the support Ooh. behind mm. Pralt, because obviously being a lumber town, mm-hmm. uh, Maravon needs there to be you know healthy relationships with the forest, and you're able to spin that as oh, well, this is actually part of Pralt Vezik's uh, uh, agenda is mm-hmm. to make sure mm-hmm. that we are in harmony with the nature spirits, and if they're telling us something's wrong, he's going to be on top of it, just like he was on top of those flames. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Good. That's <laughs> awesome. Love that. So well done. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so now, Tony, let's let's hear what Artemis does. So Artemis, is this before or after I... Am I... Is this before the time... <laughs> skip or after the time skip is this during this the six months before, or right? this is yeah this is at the beginning of the six months yeah. so you'll have your little sabbatical off to um absalom uh, right after this <laughs> uh so i think uh, i think probably oh, what led up to me wanting to to go on my little uh i guess doctor program i, I don't know how i would describe it but <laughs> um is i probably started interacting with um, my culture more, I think, like, trying to, like, involve myself more with, like, the less academic side of being an orc and, like, you know, trying to further politics and more just tried to get to know the people a little bit more. So then that was part of my recruitment process was I tried to figure out, like, what's the best things to actually help people in Axide, you know, so that we can they can be properly supported so that was part of the recruitment process and then i was mentioning how pralt i feel like despite we have differences of views i trust him to make the right decisions because i'm chaotic and he's lawful you know so like i 
And that I use that as a way to like maybe make people that are more leaning towards my alignment than Peralt's alignment. Like I try to like spin that like, hey, listen, like I despite our differences, I think this is the you know. But I don't know. I'm gonna try that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with society. It's a very, very bookish good. attempt at uh, doing so. Uh, public, private, public, yeah. Uh, public is fine. Yeah. Another success. So we are up to seven election points. You only need one more to reach the threshold for Pralt Vezik to win. Mm. Uh, but then we'll keep going because you want that goodwill to carry forward to your mm. next candidate in six months. Nice. Sounds good. All right, Helen. I thought I was going. Yeah, so Helen's yeah. going to delay, I think. Yeah. Oh, y'all, y'all. Flip. Sorry, I, I didn't actually move you on the order, so. <clears throat> so during this time, I think Bomber is around town, around Axide in particular, trying to drum up some uh, support. He's uh, handing out our campaign t-shirts and flyers, and he's talking to people, saying things like, listen, Pralt is he's strong and decisive, and that's something that I can stand behind. Uh, that's somebody I can I can follow and trust to lead us in the right direction. For once, we've got a, a seat at the table and a, a strong voice. So come on, let's let's get behind him. Let's really give him our support. Um, Good. And so I'm going to roll diplomacy. And see how this goes. Oh, there you go. All right. You you. It sounds like Pralt is leading in the in the surveys and in the polls. <laughs> um, you you kind of get the sense. Okay, we think we got this in the bag. Let's try to push this forward. Let's try to help get get ready. Like, who is Pralt endorsing for the next cycle once he's in office? So now might be a good time to go look <laughs> at the table of candidates. Yeah, let's. Uh... Uh, who would who would y'all want to put forth next? Who are who are you starting to to work for now? Yeah, let's look at that. Mm. Um, when's the last time any of us looked at this? I I already know who no. I. I think I remember who Tony liked. There I like uh, Kitswin Everdream yeah. a lot, and I like. Um, I think that was my prominent first pick. And I uh, I say I don't choose because I know who all these people are. <laughs> um, I don't um... vote. I will support whoever people say. <laughs> There was this is a good chance to there was review. someone, but I can't find their name. If you start describing, I'll help you find them. She is uh the she owns the tavern that isn't the one that's like, oh, why are they doing so well? The you want the 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 hat the oh, Shavrin? Shavrin. Shavrin. Another oh, person yeah. we have art for. Oh. <laughs> I I am very in favor of Shavrin as well. Yes. I don't know how I yeah, couldn't find I that like one. Shavrin I was, too. All right. Uh, well, it's not hard to convince me to change from Everdream to Shavern. The owner all. of the Wood it's... Giants Tavern, Shavern, sees many of the orcs of Axide as they make their way to and from jobs throughout the city. She's considering opening a second establishment in Axide, sponsoring the Welcome to Maravon board. Unofficially, I think we've said maybe the second one's a coffee shop, but that was never official. <laughs> <laughs> I just like well, the idea of orcs group, running coffee right. shops. <laughs> Yeah, so the orcs wake up in Axide, get yep. their coffee, go to work, come back through the Wood Giant Bridge and yep. get their ale there. I think it yep. also thematically makes sense. Shaverin is chaotic good, Pralt is lawful good. So now you've got that's, a nice balance of personalities. exactly okay. what I was thinking, yeah, just to kind of <laughs> keep each other in check. All right. Very I good. I think Donnie's got to make a little bit of a pivot here based on if we're going to Shaverin, how do we... What do endorsements for Chavrin sound like? It's going to go a different angle. So, so hmm. being that she's at the Wood Giants Tavern, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, it is right next to the Wood Giants Bridge, which has this strange magical quirk that the Giants' expression changes every day. Nobody knows oh, nice. why. Nobody, nobody's in, seemed to be in control of it. It's just sort of is like. The giant smiles, and it seems like something good happens that day. The giant frowns. It seems like that's when something goes and miss somewhere but that could just be you know coral you know people confusing correlation with causation there but what you could do would be try to you know make sure the rally happens on the day on a day the giant is smiling 
Yeah, I feel <laughs> I was leaning towards rallying at that point, and I could be, you know, babbling, cast, well, casting all sorts of auguries. Not that Donnie actually knows any of those, but you know, pretends, <laughs> you know, to determine the best time for the giant smile. And when the giant looks not quite right, well, this is what that actually means. So yeah, I think we're pivoting into a rally at this point. <laughs> So, at that point, let's see, if we're doing that, performance, or diplomacy, yeah, let's do a diplomacy. Okay. Roll. All right, your scrying is, is a little bit uh, uh, indeterminate. Mm -hmm. uh, you're not really sure what expression the giant's going to have, but it's strange. You decide to put down in the book, this is the day of the rally announcing Chavarin's candidacy, and lo and behold, the <laughs> next morning, the giant is smiling. <laughs> and you think maybe, just maybe, it's going to work out. <laughs> So congratulations, you've each got, uh, you've each earned yourselves an election point that brings your total to nine. Uh, so you are one ahead for next time. Uh, Pralt Vezik does successfully get elected to the town council. Uh, there's there's not really any controversy or animosity over this. People generally seem to say, yeah, no, he, he fought owl bears and fires. I want him fighting for me. Like the slogan <laughs> actually works for once. Yeah. <laughs> So congratulations, you have your second seat secured mm -hmm. on the council. 